Okay, guys, here we are again. I figured I might as well strike while the iron is hot and, uh, you know, make videos while I'm in the mood to make videos. So I figured a good topic for today's video would be the best kids' watches for adults. It's kind of a strange topic, but my girlfriend has a five-year-old son, and every time I see a weird watch, a funny watch, something that is kind of in his interest world, I will grab it for him. I bought him Mickey Mouse when I think he was three or maybe on his fourth birthday. Uh, I bought him a monster truck watch. Uh, he got really into the new Top Gun movie and figured the closest thing I can get was like an army, you know, helicopter watch. So I looked it up and I saw this and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. This is a lot of fun. It's from Timex, obviously. And instead of a second hand, it's got this little helicopter that goes around the dial every 60 seconds. And it was $17 whenever I bought it. And I thought, well, heck, I'll just get one for myself because if I wear it, another, another thing he likes to do, and this is probably a kid thing, is uh, he likes to match. So, like, if he has a Top Gun shirt on, he wants me to have a Top Gun shirt on. If he's wearing red, he wants somebody else to wear red. If I'm wearing this watch, he's going to have more of a chance to wear this watch. But anyway, long story short, this is the watch that I bought him. Bought one for myself, too, and I realized right away that it's like absolutely the most comfortable watch I've ever worn. It's tough as heck. It's got uh, like a resin case, no frills whatsoever. It's got this super cheap elastic camouflage NATO-esque strap um, that just feels amazing. I mean, and it's small, no doubt about it. I'll tell you the uh, size here in a bit. But I have small wrists, as I said before. I have six inch wrists. And this thing just fits like an absolute dream. I completely forget I'm wearing it. I do yard work in it. When I go to the batting cages, I wear it. It's the absolute least stressful watch to wear in any kind of physical situation. It's 30 meters water resistant. I would jump into a pool. I would go snorkeling. I would, if I were a diver, which I'm not, I would go diving in this watch because who cares? What's the worst that could happen? It's $17. As for the specs of this watch, I shouldn't say it's $17 because even though I bought it in September, it ain't $17 no more. Here are the specs, guys. Let's see. Can you? I, I'm terrible at this. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. Case width on this bad boy, 29.11 millimeters. The thickness, 9.12 millimeters. Lug width. 16.01 millimeters, and the lug-to-lug -lug is 33.25 millimeters. Usually when I wear this watch, I wear it on the underside because it makes me feel cool. It makes me feel tactical. It makes me feel like less of a pussy. Five long years he wore this watch up his ass. The next watch I purchased, these are all in the same line from Timex. This is called the Time Machines line. And basically, they're kids' watches, but... As they get bigger, they do kind of enter into the territory of a smaller man's watch. I know they're silly and their kids kind of styled and all that sort of thing, especially this one. I call this one the turtle because it literally looks like a turtle. It looks more like a turtle to me than anything Seiko is doing. Um, little thicker. This one is 12.54 millimeters thick. It's 18 millimeter lug width. 42.48 millimeters lug to lug and it's 33.01 from here to here and if you include the buttons then it's 35.87 uh, i'm not a huge fan of this shape i don't particularly care for it this one is actually going for 19 dollars 88 as of today on amazon so if you guys want to check it out i will say that this one has a faulty indiglo light so, I don't know. I probably had bad luck. I'm sure they're not all broken. But this one here has no loom. It has no indigo. It has nothing. It just tells the time and there's a helicopter on it, which is more than enough whenever you're five years old and just learning. Do you know what time it is? Um, no. Uh, um, uh, is it 9.23? This one, I just bought it uh, for the sake of the video. I thought I'd have a backup beater. Um, but since the Indiglo doesn't work, I'm going to send it back to Amazon. I don't recommend it. And it kind of does look silly. This is the one where I would say there's not really a lot of crossover for an adult because it just looks so stupid. Um, but, you know, it's each their own. There's someone out there that's probably, you know, would love to wear this. And since it's bigger and more adult sized, um, you know, I can see it. I could see this on someone's wrist. I would judge them harshly, but I could see it. 
but uh, well <laughs> i just i'm talking about how great this strap is and i just broke it so easy fix i have never once done that with this i don't know uh, what the difference is here but uh, i just I hate, I hate this turtle i hate turtles turtles stink and they spread disease <laughs> <laughs> as i was looking in to see what else the time machines line had i found this on amazon and this may now be one of my all-time favorite watches uh i've had this for about a day and i can say with 100 percent certainty that this will forever stay in my collection um honestly i'm probably going to start wearing it a lot more than this i see no fault whatsoever in this watch as you guys can see it comes on kind of a Velcro NATO strap. It goes under. Um, it does have removable spring bars, so you can you can put a leather strap on this. You could put a metal bracelet on this if you wanted to. You can do whatever you want. Um, one interesting thing I noticed is that that's the only piece of elastic on the entire watch is right there and there. Um, and already I can just feel that whenever I'm flexing my arm, doing something, making a strange movement, giving somebody the finger... Um, it just really accommodates that movement and makes the strap that much more comfortable on my arm. Um, getting it on on camera is going to be weird, so give me one second here. Okay, let's, can you, can you just, this is good television. Oh my god, no one's, no one's still watching this. If you guys haven't turned it off right now as I'm putting a strap on off camera, then you really need to find something else to do with your lives. But okay, Velcro. I have to say, this is easily the best fitting strap I've ever had for any watch. Yes, yeah, it's a little tacky with that Timex. I do a lot of leather work, which is why you guys probably see stains on this mat under here and some leather stuff here. Um, I think I'm going to remove this patch and replace it with a nice piece of edge tan leather just for fun, just to watch it age as time goes on. Uh, but to give you some quick specs on this bad boy, I call this the Anderton. And the reason I call it the Anderton is this reminds me of the watch that Tom Cruise wears in the movie Minority Report. I don't know why. I've actually looked up pictures, and I'll include some video here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's not really even close, but every time I look at it, that's what I think of. And it's just something about it's super cool and I don't know, a little, little futuristic, honestly. It's got camo here on the strap. Camo's got some purple in it, green, black. I've never really owned anything watch-wise with purple in it, and it's super subtle. But it's also super cool. I really like it. Um, it has my all-time favorite complication. As you guys know, if you watched my last video, day-date. can never go wrong with a day-date on a watch because that's probably something I look at more than the time. As for the specs, case width, 35.39 millimeters. The thickness, 12.60 millimeters. The lug width on this one is 19 millimeters. So it, it is kind of an adult-sized watch. And the lug-to-lug -lug is 40.27. So I know a lot of you guys are going to go, oh, it's a girl size, it's a little baby size. And yeah, it is. Um, until you have a six-inch wrist like I do. And, you know, what are you going to do? This looks appropriate on me. I really, really like it. Oh, current price on this as of today, $27.50 on the Timex Anderton. All of these come in a pretty cool box a kid would love a box like this i love a box like this i have it proudly displayed on my mantle so anyone that comes over i talk about my timex time machines collection sometimes i even kind of prop them up on this and just just show them off you know show them off my desk at work everybody's very impressed um, a lot of people will get jealous at work they think like oh did you get a raise uh, why didn't i get a raise um just i don't know general office politics but look you show these off you're kind of it's like a power statement you know this one here is probably the most versatile so if you have a daughter there's like a pink one there's one with sharks on it one with basketball there's all these different designs and styles with this one so you know if your kid's not into army camo fighter jet helicopter stuff uh you could definitely find one on this one um i don't think there's anything too exciting i think there's one with fire on it if you don't like the camo option uh, I think there's like a just a black and bright colored one, whatever. On this, there's a couple different camo options, a blue one. I think there's like more of a traditional black and gray scheme going on. That one's not camo, uh, but you've got options. There's a lot of options. This is the one, if we're really talking about the best kids watches for, for adults, for men, 
this watch here is pretty badass. Check it out. Um, what's the worst going to happen? $27.50 on Amazon. Uh, if you get one and for some reason the Indiglo, and by the way, this has Indiglo and it's awesome. Uh, if it doesn't work, big deal. You send it back to Amazon, you get a you get an easy refund. So uh, there's really no pressure here. I say definitely check it out. Just don't check it out to the point where you drive prices up for Christ's sake, because I might buy 10 more of these just to make sure I have them until my dying day. It wouldn't be a YouTube watch video if I didn't give you guys a loom shot. So here you go. Timex Indiglo. It is awesome. Nothing beats it. Adios, fellas. 933. Uh, 9... Yeah, 930. You did it. Now you're like Flavor Flav. Yeah, I know what time it is.